Uh, I don't get, have to read any of the online portion, so why don't we just do a quick roll call? Lynn, you want to lead us off or we'll work our way around? Are Give you speaking name. to me? Quick, quick roll call. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> we'll start with a roll call, Lynn. Oh, okay. I was hoping to get here early that I could sit close to you, but it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just say your name for roll call? Oh, Lynn Cleveland. Marjorie Fraden. Stephen Lyons. Jean Shearing. Christine Madura. Matt Soldner. Donna Welch. Okay. I cannot write that fast, so I'll go all in attendance. <laughs> yeah, I'll just chop you down. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me as I do notes. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'll try to speak loudly for Lynn. Thank Sorry. You. <laughs> um, okay. So, first, uh, programming on our agenda here. Uh, we've started a bunch of programs. A lot of the programs that I've told you about in the last few months are underway or starting soon, which is really exciting. Uh, we did issue uh, an assessment survey for our Aging with Grace and then a few of our fitness programs. And the results were, were really good, overwhelmingly uh, good, actually. It seems like a lot of folks are really satisfied with the quality of the programs, the type of programs. Um, and we even got a few suggestions on in room for improvement. Um, spacing out time so the parking lot is a little bit less full, things like that. So that, that'll be something we continue to practice uh, in an effort to deliver the best service that we can possible. A few programs that I want to highlight here. Um, we have Whitney Place coming to Frothingham Hall to conduct a program. Uh, they will have a uh, portion of musical entertainment for folks. Um, registration will not be required. That'll be a drop-in program. Due to demand uh, and overwhelming positive reviews for Drums Alive and our Filates class, we'll be opening a second session. Drums Alive will still be uh, reservation-based, calling in, reserving a slot. Um, Filates, based on conversations with the instructor, uh, will be a uh, call-in and sign-up program since it's sort of sequential and it builds on itself week over week. Uh, again, I imagine that those will continue to be popular and they'll be something that uh, will be on our schedule for a long time. Pilates will probably be uh, at the instructor's availability and run hopefully al almost year round due to the positive impact it's had. What is Whitney Place? Uh, Whitney Place is a uh, senior retirement uh, and rehabilitation center. So they're willing to come in and do a talk for us uh, as well as put on a little bit of a, a portion of entertainment. Where are they located? I don't know the exact location. But in Easton? I'm not even sure. That either. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, so Kelly up front set that up. Um, I actually have to open that door, so give me one moment here. I'd never heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. What is it? It's called Whitney Place. It's I thought a, I was the only one. A I rehab. But uh, I don't think it's in Easton. I don't I, think it's in Easton. Because I think we would know about it. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, Looking thank you for your patience there. Uh, yeah, I don't want to miss cool. I'm not, I'm not totally sure of their location. Uh, Kelly up front would definitely know. Yeah, they had reached out to her directly, and the entertainment portion seemed really exciting. And we haven't offered something like that in a while, so I figured it might be worth worthwhile. For so us they would come here and do a presentation. Yep. Okay. Yep. And you would advertise it. Somehow. Uh, yeah. Yep. And then people are welcome to you know drop in, listen to it, and as well as hang out for the um, for the musical portion of it as well. It's probably their. Um, Advertising, like they're coming yeah, here to get yes. business. According to this, they have a place in Sharon, and what's the other one? Uh, there's North Borough, Natick, oh. Medway. Yeah. So it's there's a, a lot of them. Sharon. It's a collaborative. Closest. Like yeah. It. So. Yep. Um, like a franchise. The one, the one great part is that the uh, actual program side of it, with the music, will be free, free of charge. They'll be. Uh, covering all those related costs. So nothing we have to charge to okay. residents of Easton. Okay, uh, also on the side of uh, programming, we just launched um, what will be a new quarterly brochure, uh, full, uh, including different programs that we'll be hosting. It's posted on our website right now. It'll go live on Facebook. I intend to print a few Can hard copies. I'll okay. pass this around if you want to just pass it around. Sure. Um, Mostly all inclusive. There are some things that did not make it just because it would be uh, restrictive the, the length of how long it would be. It's already 
about 17 pages of programs that we're wow. offering. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, a lot of the, the fitness programs you all are familiar with are in there. There will also be included um, some youth and intergenerational and family programs as well, um, which you know adults of all ages and folks of all ages are, are welcome to participate in. Um, so this is more of a comprehensive book uh, relative to the coordinator, which we'll continue to put out there and market um, specifically to the populations that you all are most related to. Um, but this will be a, a little bit of a supplemental marketing. I definitely encourage everybody in Easton to check that out. Um, some programs in there that are intergenerational will mm -hmm. be uh, our family cooking program, caregiver uh, and me music program designed for folks that uh, might watch uh, or parent uh, kids that are three to five, I believe, um, and to make some music and some memories, as well as a family dance program. Um, there are a lot of programs in there that are 18 plus uh, that include pickleball as well. Uh, those are filling up very, very fast, um, but there are gonna be some things in there that are certainly worthwhile to check out if you're, if you're in Easton. So is this, did you say this is on the website? Yep, that'll be okay. on the uh, town programs page. Okay. Yep. Has there ever been a um, a caregiver support group for folks who were caring for um, elders? Um, I don't know if there idea. was prior to me. We do offer a bereavement group right now. Um, those don't necessarily overlap, but something we could look into. I think it has existed actually. Now that I think about it, because I might I might have asked a few people about it. We may have had trouble holding on to reliable facilitators for those groups. Yeah. So ignore the first part of my answer, <laughs> the back part of my answer, yes. Uh, and we've had issues holding on to facilitators. Yes, thank you. Okay, um, other programs, uh, some of which aren't in there but you may have seen marketing for, uh, we are offering blocked times for chair massages um, and then there will be a trip to Battleship Cove coming up. That'll be a nice intergenerational program, I believe. Uh, there's a little bit further out, so it may not be in that program booklet itself, um, but it's going to be neat. It's going to be an uh, interpretive tour that I think is the most, the first one will be taking place on um, women in World War II, uh, which will be a pretty interesting concept. Mm -hmm. Who um, does the chair massages? Who's the masseuse? Do you uh, know? It's a third party vendor that's going to be partnering with us. Uh, I believe her name is Lauren. And is there a fee for that? Uh, I'd have to take a look at the flyer. I think most of it is going to be subsidized. Oh, really? Yeah, the, I, I can see the flyer for here, and I don't necessarily want to <laughs> take, take time from the meeting to grab it, um, but definitely check it out. It's, uh, they're relatively small windows, so it's not full deep tissue, uh, <laughs> but it, it would probably be a, a nice way to, or a nice thing to include in your day. Okay. So the next bullet point two, programs and fees. And I know Lynn had some questions from a previous meeting, so I wanted to make sure we had this as an agenda item. Uh, so as many of you know, and I'll take these and pass around. I think I have enough for everybody. Uh, the last few years during COVID, we've had a lot of our fees uh, go to zero for the time being due to people's different levels of comfort uh, and sort of you know, prolongated, delayed reopening uh, due to COVID. We made some pretty enormous strides, and if you're in here on any given day, you're probably aware of the amount of people, the amount of programs that we have going. Um, so due to those successes, and uh, much, much, us being in a much better place um, than where we were in 2020, we will be reinstating some fees uh, through a punch card program. Uh, I believe this to be uh, one of the better ways to do it versus a fixed monthly membership, um, taking cash in hand every single time you want to come in. Um, so I, I'd be interested to get your feedback on this. I, I do believe this is the best solution for a few reasons. A, we'll be able to do this online or have in-person payments. Um, cards will just be issued here. Uh, the punch card itself will minimize a line before a class if we did um, daily payments for every time you wanted to come in. It also minimizes the amount of times you have to carry cash. Um, whoever's coming to class, they'll allow flexibility for patrons if somebody's going on a month-long vacation or traveling. Let me get through this and I'll answer your question. Okay, that's um, a question. It'll allow flexibility compared to month-to-month uh, -month membership that you'd have to freeze that could be overly complicated. 
Um, it'll allow us to actually add on additional tax work off positions for older residents in Easton, which will be an added benefit as well. Um, and it's relatively easy to understand and, and govern um, for the you know modest staff that we have here. Um, so this will be good for all recurring fitness and wellness programs. It'll be separate from our art program um, or programs that take place in a fixed window. So anything that this will uh, apply to or be eligible for will also be advertised uh, in that brochure I pass around as well as the coordinator. So it's very explicitly spelt out, try to minimize any confusion, but we will always uh, do our best to work with folks who A, have financial need, uh, B, are confused or may have misunderstood things. We, we think we're reasonable, pe reasonable people here at Frothingham. Um, we want to have good intentions with that. Um, again, the prices for this uh, will be for 10 punches, as you see on there. Uh, it'll be $20, so about $2 a class relative to a lot of box gyms mm -hmm. that are more like $10 per class. Uh, we are going to offer, if somebody wants to buy multiple cards at once, uh, the price starts to go down there a little bit. So it's 30 for 20 punches and $40 for 30 punches, which goes all the way down to uh, about a buck 33 per class, which uh, is still moderately affordable. Um, and this does in no way cover all the costs for instructors. We'll still be subsidizing that from a grant um, that should hopefully meet a lot of the other costs that we have associated. Um, given that information, does anybody have any questions? Are there any um, scholarships or subsidies for people who can't afford any of it? So I would encur encourage those people to reach out to our new programs email. Uh, again, just like any other program that the town runs, if there's financial hardship, if there's an application for it, um, people are absolutely welcome to fill those out, especially seniors who are on fixed income. Right. There, there's more than uh, a r room for understanding on our end to figure that out. So that is a very good question. Thank you. Lynn? I'll, I'll talk to you afterwards. I didn't hear everything. But you said, did, you, did you say $20 a month? Uh, for the uh, punch card. So it would be $20 for, oh, for 10 classes. Okay. What happened with the computer card? computer card. Yeah, the card, oh, the scan in card every day. The scan-in card. Um, so yeah, this doesn't necessarily card. replace it. And I can explain the difference afterwards, yeah, afterwards if you want to. Okay. Um, but that is more for like waivers and for, for counting participation. So you'd still scan in, um, but then this card would be punched by a tax work-off program who would likely be just outside of the, the studio space. Uh, and then you'd be, you know, entering in for, for your program. Awesome. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Perfect. Any other questions on the punch card program? Mm -mm. Okay. Age friendly action committee updates. Uh, the group actually has not met. They had a meeting scheduled. I believe it may have been canceled. So no updates there. I'll continue to leave that as a standing uh, agenda item for us as updates arise. Um, I'll actually connect with Kristen now, who's the uh, taking on that position on that board. Uh, open enrollment. So this is actually really exciting. So uh, as many of you know, we have our Shine counselors uh, that work out of Frothingham. We have two of them right now, uh, Steve Sandell and Dave. Uh, so far through uh, the few months that open enrollment's taken place, they, the two of them have seen 200 appointments and saved uh, residents of Easton $62,000 combined, which is wow. really, really exciting. Um, I believe that number is up from last year. So I, that, that's a testament to how great of a job that they're doing and the general impact the SHINE program is having. So we're really great. Uh, I definitely want to recognize and give them a, a quick kudos and a shout out in this particular forum. So um, if you haven't worked with our SHINE counselors or, or met them, uh, I definitely encourage you to stop by and just say hello and introduce yourself. They're terrific humans that do very incredible and important work. Okay. Yes. Um, on my end, we're getting towards the end here. Um, virtual in-person meetings, leaving this here. Uh, again, just as a reminder, with winter weather, obviously we, we're getting our December meeting out of the way early. Um, January will again be on a regular schedule meeting. Um, but What is the date of the January? You don't know? I did not bring my phone into this I meeting. Had my phone. I didn't look. We want a calendar? This is still the first Thursday of January. As long as it's not New Year's the day after, it's a race who can pull it up first. 
Well, New Year's is going to be, I think, a Monday. A Monday. So it might be the third or fourth. It's the fifth. Yeah. Fifth. fifth. January fifth. The fifth is the Thursday. Okay. Yep. What's the date? January fifth. January fifth. Fifth. Mm. For some reason, I have it in my phone already. It's January third. That's a Tuesday. You'll have to let us know. Just keep us posted. Yeah, it'll, we'll we'll continue with the first Thursday of the month. Um, oh, that's, this is a Tuesday, January third. I'm wrong. <laughs> so uh, one five, we that'll obviously be sort of a tricky time of year with the holidays. Um, I'll do my best to keep an eye on the 10-day forecast. Hopefully we don't have snow at yeah. that point or ice. <laughs> but um, I will try to offer flexibility if the weather is poor, just in the, keeping everybody's safety in mind. Um, so again, 1-5, our meeting um, tentatively in this room. We'll all chat via email if there's any, any sort of changes that might be anticipated. Um, approval of minutes, I'll type them up and send them out to everybody via email. If you have any revisions, please let me know. Um, staff notes, I think things are going really well. <laughs> and I appreciate everybody being here today. Um, and I hope you have happy holidays. That's my only note. <laughs> uh, member notes, questions or comments for the good of the group? This, this may be in here. Are there any specific holiday um, programs? Not this year. Uh, oh. By the time we were able to iron a few of them out, it would have been a too tight of a timeline for registration. We did a little bit of brainstorming at our last programming team meeting, uh, and we have a few ideas that we're hoping to put a pin in and roll out for next year. We do have uh, we have one craft-oriented uh, program that is more geared towards uh, younger kids, residents of Easton, uh, that I'm hoping will be sort of like a gift making for their grandparents <laughs> or for uh, caregivers, um, but to the tune of folks that would be COA related, not this year. So definitely a bummer, but it's we have a few good ideas for future years. I wonder if um, some folks would like um, for next year maybe a caroling program. Oh, that's Carol a nifty idea. I think that would be wonderful. Yeah, people love to sing. I know, love me, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. Depending on the weather, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you could even go um, to like a nursing home rather yeah. than going. Outdoors, I don't think outdoors is a good idea. Kids do that, but do even that just indoors for their own pleasure, yeah. you know, yeah. just yeah. a, a choral group. Yeah, would yeah. be nice. With the programs that yeah. the kids were. Appreciate you sharing that. Other member notes or questions? And I have one other comment. Sure. If you do that next year, I would appreciate um, if you hit on other other faiths. Sure. Like a um, Hanukkah candle lighting, or um, you know, with like you can do a, a, a swap of gifts, and maybe I don't know what other Kwanzaa, but to make it more multi. Um, Absolutely. Couldn't be more. More inclusive. Mm -hmm. For sure. That was it. Thank you. Excellent. <coughs> Are these somewhere out there? Like. Yes, absolutely. So if you go to the uh, Easton Programs website, it'll be sort of in blue blocked hyperlink lettering um, at the top of our programs page. Uh, and there will also be one going out today. Uh, once our support staff gets in, uh, they'll publish it on Facebook as well. Oh, they'll put it on Facebook? Yep. Okay. So I have one other question. Sure. And we talked about this last time briefly, but. Um, I'm wondering about some feedback from folks here. Do you think there would be an interest for folks to do a um, a creative writing program? Not so much. Not for me. I not, yes, not me either. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I know no, we talked about there's, this before. There's some at the library. Yes, there is. Writing programs there's the a library. memoir writing. Um, it was a four-session memoir writing, and I think that'll start it. But so that's interesting because I, um, yeah, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I didn't know. We could totally coordinate offline about what you think a structure might look like, and we could put it out there and market it. And if it gets a little bit of traction, go with it. And if not, shut it down. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of these things are a two-way door. You can yeah. always pull back if it doesn't go as planned, and you can set up a, a maximum, a minimum. 
minimum of two, whatever it is, and if you don't cross the threshold. Mm. Yeah. yeah, okay. And um, I meant, do you have any more hard copies of these? Of that. No, that is my sole copy. Oh, okay. We will uh, be trying to get a printer to, to get a few copies out, though, since um, those will be done on a quarterly basis. There will be a, a winter, spring, fall, so on. I, I find that more so for families or for not so much for seniors. I see that all the most of those programs, a lot of those programs yeah. in there are family orientated oh, or let's get rid of the kids for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting interpretation. The, the goal that of was it. my interpretation. Of some, I mean, I quickly looked through it, but that's my interpretation of some of it. So that that is, I, I suppose, that is one re, a good reason and a reaffirming reason to keep the coordinator for sure. That is more of a, a broad stroke, of, like a, a broad variety of all the programs that we'll be offering. Oh, okay. You are certainly on track that that has aspects that um, identify programs for youth, uh, young adults, young parents, as, and then incorporates programs that you've likely seen a lot in the coordinator. And I have and another, you. I have another question. Sure, West Acres nursing home used to come here and do a crafts program with the seniors and I haven't noticed that anywhere in the West Acres West Acres and Brockton used to come okay. over and do oh, a yeah, pro I mean, that maybe since COVID they don't do it anymore so West but it was enjoyable like for the seniors to come over here and do it you know, there was a, one of the women that used to uh, come over and have classes with the seniors they made crazy things. No, no, maybe once, yeah. I, once a month they used to come yeah, over. Was nice. that once a month? Was it once, once a month, a month they came? It was once a month. They yeah. would come once a month and they would do. We made, one was made out of wood and they had nails in it and we had to use yarn to make flour out of it. It was yeah. interesting. It, it, it kept your mind working mm -hmm. yeah, in a way. Came. It was like it was related to seniors. They came with all the supplies. And yes, they brought everything yeah. with them. And we just said, we used to enjoy ourselves doing it. I was wondering, because have, you haven't mentioned them at all, and I wonder, maybe well, because of COVID, they've backed out of it. That's the first I'm hearing of them, but I'm always looking for different places to come in and run programs with us, so yeah. I appreciate yeah, you sharing they, that. They used to come once, once a month. We had you know, in thinking about what you were talking about with the writing, I think as a, as a grandparent, to, to be able to write about your childhood and, and mm -hmm. you know what your experiences were, for your grandchildren, mm -hmm. I think that's wonderful. That's a, you know. I could market it in that way. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good idea. Well, there's, there's a program, you have to pay for it, but it's called StoryWorth. Yes. And my kids got us involved in that. And uh, it, it's quite good. They make, they choose questions to ask mm -hmm. about your childhood and, mm -hmm. and, you know, the whole bit. And then you have to sit down and write it. it was, oh, you write it. Yeah. It's not a videotape. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You sit down and write it, and wow. then it's published in a book. Awesome. And then they can read it. But I think that as we get older, our, uh, that's something we all want to communicate to our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Don't want it to be lost. I mean, I wish my grandparents had done that for me. Oh, I know. <laughs> it you know, like, I know wasn't nothing. done in those days. Yeah. I know nothing about them, so I think that's a lovely idea. Mm. Really nice. Thank you. <laughs> the pickleball lessons, is that, I take it, indoors? Yes, so the we'll be uh, opening Frothingham in the evenings here now, and we'll be incorporating some Is it across the programs. street? <gasps> It'll be right in the other room, the main hall. Okay. Yeah, outside of uh, sort of the regular schedule for fitness programs. So a little bit new, but Somebody uh, tell me what pickleball is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a cross <laughs> between tennis, badminton, and ping, ping pong. pong. Yeah. And paintball? Yeah. No, pink. Ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> now it's exciting. Ball. Now there's a, now there's a program. <laughs> it's we should do like ping pong. That would be fun. Like so you don't run as much as tennis? It's yeah. got oh, the good. paddle. Um, yeah, you get the paddle, you get the ball. And you, you just get, don't have the board that you... Well, no, but you, you have a net. It's yeah. outside. And I mean, I went past the first weekend that it opened up at the Unionville. It's crazy up there. It was like, holy crap. <laughs> I mean, the, the parking yeah. lot was full. And they Where were, are they parking? In, in they have a parking they, they space They do have a parking there. space now. They, they cleared they out an area and... Fills up fast. It does. It, I mean, because they used to do it on the tennis courts. They only had two courts, but now they'd they go up there and they'd be, you'd drive by and there'd be, you know, 
Do you play? Twenty it's people, all, no, it's sitting ages. outside waiting Very to get popular. in to play a game. It's all I ages. I hear about it almost yeah. every day, and I've never seen it online or anything. Yeah, I'm curious what that. So yeah, <laughs> no, yes. I think I've read that it's the most um, popular or the fastest yes. growing sport in yeah. America. They have That's competitions with it now. Because yes. our demographic is the largest demographic in America, right? The, uh, Are we really? Yeah. Yeah, but that's after um, after World War Two. There was a big baby boom, right? So we're all those boomers. We're boomers. We're boomers. There you yeah. go. <laughs> In more ways than one, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, if we play pickleball, we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> They're up there, no matter how cold it is, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, I, I get the sense that there's a large segment of Easton that doesn't know Council on Aging exists or Frothingham Hall exists. I think that's right. If you don't go looking for it, you won't find it. You yeah. know? If you don't go on the computer, mm. you won't find it. And if you don't look at the little corners in the library or at the supermarket, you won't see the uh, bullet. I'm wondering if... It, if a one-time mailing could be done sometime and say, you know, hey, this is what's available to you. Mm-hmm. That's a nice... Because I live in the far corner of Easton. The boondocks. <laughs> the boondocks of Mansfield, <laughs> Norton Corner. And, you know, we, we don't get down here very often. Such a long trip. I mean, it, well, the horses get tired. Yeah, that's right. right. The that's whip right. arm. Just it's a comedy hour now. Is that what this has become? <laughs> the if it wasn't for the, the Tai Chi, I wouldn't have. Gone that there. that is a very good idea. Yeah. A lot of what is in this brochure now, and some of the reasons and intention behind opening Frothingham at night, spreading out some of the programs to the younger demographics as well, to get the word of mouth out there. Because it's when I look at the surveys that we've conducted so far in these first few months. 65% of our program registration or awareness that we exist as a group is from word of mouth. So the goal is to build it and have them come in, be aware of, of our spaces. Um, but the one-time mailing, it's definitely something that I'll consider. And um, you know, we don't want to be too intrusive, so maybe the one time is <laughs> a good idea yeah. itself. Yeah. I would wonder um, about contacting the the house houses of faith, the churches and synagogues, many of them have newsletters that go out, mm. and they, um, I know the synagogue in town has a newsletter, and you could ask to put in a little blurb. I think a lot of folks... Um, church bulletins. Church yes. bulletins, yeah. all those, um, and they may even be going, you know, free of charge for, mm -hmm. because everyone wants their congregants to know about activities in town. There are a lot. Faith-based houses. Good Just I'm thought. not from Easton, so I'm not totally familiar with it, but that's those are very good ideas. I appreciate it. I imagine on the town website there is a listing of all of the um, churches and synagogues. You don't want to make it too popular, though, because then you're not going to have <laughs> the people who are going aren't going to be able to get in because you're going to have all these new people showing up. So I have a I have a question. I, I actually think if you have more people, that will speak to um, the need for it to expand. And I know that there has been some discussion. I don't know if this is common knowledge. If the why was to build where Center School is for the Council of Aging to be located and have much more space in mm -hmm. the Y in that. Um, is that something you hear about? I have no idea. I only know it was at town meeting, uh, yeah. a special town meeting not too long ago. Yeah. Um, Being involved with the programs here, we need to expand for quite a while. Yeah. Even with the regular group, mm -hmm. and they started having out-of-towners come in, and it's worse. We need to expand. Yep. I also kind of, um, I think many of the um, churches, synagogues, um, want to increase their membership and might be willing to partner with the Counseling on Aging to use their space because um, it gets people in and, you know, you certainly could do 
like many of them have a function hall and you could do a yoga class there or um, um, it's a good idea yeah I know idea. during um, at the beginning of COVID the loop the round church on Center Street I don't know what kind of a church it is you know congregational mm -hmm. I think yeah that they one. had a yoga class going on there it wasn't specific to that church. They so sold that church. The one on, on Center Street right there, Center and, and Depot? No, Center. No, that's the no. Covenant Middle Church. Oh, the Middle further Middle one down. Yeah. Okay. The one that's round. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, oh. now I know which one you are. No, they're still there. But I think that could be a clever way to expand the physical footprint. Hmm. I think you are on the same page as me that at some point we will probably exceed our in our Capacity. activities what we're able to, to accomplish in this space. So. Yes. I think uh, there's a lot of voices at this table. You all know a lot of people in, in Easton as well, and there's, there's no harm in advocating and making known what you think needs to be changed. Yeah. So, but I think those are very good ideas. I will uh, do my best to try to have them done or check in on them prior to our next meeting. I uh, can't promise that they'll all be able to be no, done. I think some of what I'm saying is sort of long term. I don't expect you to to have that done. you got to set hard deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate that, though. Thank you. Uh, and I appreciate everybody's ideas. Um, I am running out of room on my paper. <laughs> but uh, All right. are there no other... More right no more creativity. Are there Shut other... Uh, are there other member notes? And it might be worth noting as well that th there's some really good ideas being discussed here. If anybody has these thoughts in advance of this meeting, I'm happy to add them to the agenda as well. Typically, these are just sort of things that I think are, you know, up on my end, worth bringing up to this group. Um, so if you ever have something that you think is uh, something you'd want to maybe break out from the member notes and put in the formal agenda, it, you know, may actually attract some people to come in and visit one of our meetings. So just want to put that out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holiday <laughs> season to everyone. Yeah. Be well <laughs> and make a Carry motion on. to adjourn. Second. Motion. Second. Third. And a vote. Uh, All in favor? Unanimous. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.